Sound of a Colorado neurosurgeon's massive breakthrough on a race car course. This car is being driven entirely by one man's mind. It's technology that could one day change the lives of people who are mobility challenged. Today, a man paralyzed from the waist down showed it off for the first time behind the wheel of a NASCAR Cup race car. Connor McHugh was there and takes us for a ride. At Pikes Peak International Raceway, high speeds and hard turns are nothing out of the ordinary. Neither are the skills and intense focus required to make it out unscathed. It's an amazing experience. This week, German Aldana Zuniga made it all look effortless, despite not touching the throttle a single time. Since my accident, I don't have no mobility below my waist, so uh, this is my first time driving the car, yeah. Nine years after that life-altering car wreck, Zuniga is using his thoughts to drive. It's a technological breakthrough pioneered by a team led by Colorado neurosurgeon, Dr. Scott Fauci. We're really proud of what he's done. For more than a year, the group has worked so Zuniga can communicate between a microchip on his brain and a computer in the car. The computer can pick that up that particular electronic fingerprint and feed that to the race car. Zuniga can now use his mind to move the car in this specialized helmet to steer it, a task once unthinkable, now possible with focus and practice. To be in it and just watch how you go through the track smoothly and it responds to what you think. It's just incredible. So too are the possibilities for this technology later on. We can use this potentially for driving an electric wheelchair, a golf cart, control a robotic arm. Once we develop that science, that science can be used for all types of systems. It's a finish line Zuniga can't wait to help cross. Technology is advancing, so we got to help put our part in it and make it become available for everyone. In Fountain, Connor McHugh covering Colorado first.